Preparation. So we've talked about practicing, but you might have a slide deck. We're going to come and talk about slide decks in a minute. But you might have a slide deck, for example, where you, when you press the button, a new set of words come out. You want to make sure that's working. Okay? Because if you get up there and you haven't done that, you've been rushed, you've put your slide deck together, and you haven't gone through it a few times, there could be bugs in it. Okay? So make sure that your slide deck's working. Go through it five, ten times. And make sure it's engaging. Okay? But I'm going to leave that stuff with that slide deck just for a minute. But the other thing, if you've got media in your slide deck, and I know a lot of kids like to show little movies, for example, make sure that's working. Make sure the link's there. So this also comes to preparation in terms of um, in advance of your presentation to the class, to the audience, go and, vi go and visit the room. Where are you going to be presenting? Check with the teacher. Look, the teachers are busy. They may not have checked that the sound system's working because in that particular room, maybe there's a bug in the sound system and they don't know because it's a new room that they haven't been to for a while either. So go and make sure that if you're going to show a video or, or run, run some media, go and make sure the sound's working, the, the, the projector's working, that everything's working because otherwise you'll be up there and, and it falls flat and you'll have a nervous breakdown and we don't want that, okay? And, and most importantly, the audience are going to go, oh, no, they weren't prepared and it all becomes embarrassing and yeah, not, not a good experience, okay? So we don't want that. So make sure that, that everything's great. So internet connections, right, sound systems, lighting, well, all that sort of stuff. 